welcome back to WWS channel, the wonderful world of seashell. Today we're going to talk about cone shells, the Caribbean cone shells. I've just made a few days ago a video about my self-collected collection from the Caribbean, especially Martinique. And you were several asking me if I could make another one on cone shells, you know, and showing uh, each species, specimens, um, more slowly and make some more comments. So I'm taking time for you. I'm going to talk with you and give you a lot of comments of my self-collected collection of Martinique. And of course, a few islands I visited while I was living there and from two, uh, 2000 to 2002. And um, if you like this video, like I'm repeating every time, please subscribe to the channel and give us a like. So now we're going to talk about all these seashells. So let's go and talk about cone shells. So let's have an overall look at the boxes first. So you can see this two there. It's Connors Bui from Martinique. This is beach specimen. The, this is where found in the in the Lesser Antilles, what we call the Grenadine in France. This is the a few uh, dead specimen from Martinique. This is a Conus regius for Martinique. These are all regius, different colored from Martinique. So you can see a, an overall looking. This is a box from the um, the Lesser Antilles, the the Grenadine. You know, all, all days. This is a box uh, containing cones from Martinique, all kind of species, rare to common. I mean, when I say common, you know, cone shells in Martinique are not that common. This is all always the the Conus regius box. You can see uh, many different specimens. So. This is an overall looking of the cone we're going to talk about now. So I hope you're going to enjoy this. This is a new way of showing and talking about seashell. This is a try. The video I've made before was not that good, I think. So I hope this one's better. Let's go. So let's start now this new kind of video. So I'm going to show you the specimens we've just seen on the on the overall video I've just made. So we're going to start with the box um, of the Lesser Antilles, the, the Grenadine uh, location. So you can see uh, actually a Conus Herminus. It still has its Pyrus trachum. So it's um, it's usually it's big species uh, that you can find on the on the sand. It's especially crawling at night and it's sand and and uh, and grass fields also. So I like this overall. I mean, like orange color. That's why I kept its Pyrus trachum. So in the in the fields, in the in the algae fields, in grass fields, I've seen also one like that. This is uh, uh, the same species. It's the orange variation, and I, I had the chance to find a um, a freak one. It's very interesting. This is, as you may see there, and there. So this is a still Conus Herminus. Okay. This is what I, what I call the Conus uh, Dominicanus. This is still from the same area. This is also f can be found uh, at night um, from five to thirty meters. And it's crawling on the sand and found around grass fields. This one is, is it's very nice because it has this overall blue color on that part, and this this part of the shell has more classic color. 
can see the variation there. This is another one. The same species, different shell. Now, you can see, I don't know why, I'm sorry for the small pieces of cotton sometimes, that gets sticky on the shell. So this is Conus dominicanus. I love these shells and I love the Conus sedonuli also from St. Vincent. I didn't have chance to find any by the past. So that was the Conus dominicanus from this area. I, I bought one shell to uh, a woman that was living on her boat there and she said this one did not come from St. Vincent. So I have no real trust data, you know. So I think it's come from St. Vincent. Oh, yeah. She said no, but you can see this is a pretty cone. It's a very nice cone. See all my pieces of cotton from my boxes. So this this one has not a, a perfect data. This one, the the conus uh, granulatus, I found dead in uh, Petit Martinique, in very shallow water in, in front of the beach. It's a really an awesome cone. I found little teeny shells. I found two. I mean, I found several, and I gave some to a friend. Um, that's what I, uh, I would call this uh, Conus pseudo orientius. Uh, I hope it's a it's the good identification. It's really teeny shells. I hope I'm not wrong, guys. This is really pretty ones. They were found still in the Lesser Anti. And this one, uh, I think it's Conus Puzio, I think. It was called before Puzillus. And now it's Puzio. This is was uh, found on the, on the sand. It's a very, uh, the white species. So that was the first, the first box of seashells. Um, I found a few empty shells there. I'm gonna show you actually a few more specimens. So let me of these ones. So, as I told you, I found these two uh, broken ones. I mean, it's really broken. It's I, I can show show them anywhere. Let's 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 show them the kind of zigzag and this type of shell. So there was. Uh, there were from the, I told you, there are two very, they're beach and broken specimen. They were found uh, in the tab Tobago case on the reef. Mm. It was at the time like a zigzag at big domain shells. Uh, I'm not sure about now the the names. I, I think they may, might have changed yet. This this one's this empty shell was found in St. Vincent. It's a uh, it's a dead one, but it's I mean it's kind of old. If, even if you can see the the pattern pretty well though. And the last one was uh, empty shells also found in Union Island, still less RNT. You can see the the pattern pretty well too. 
So now we're gonna we're gonna talk about Dosicones. So I have a box of Dosicones there. I hope my French accent doesn't bore you. So it's the box we've just seen before. So we're gonna pick up some shells. So we, let's start with the Conus Docus. Let's show several. The, this is the, you can see the, the classic color of the Conus Docus. So you can see it's really, really orange. Some kind of uh, different pattern, but the spire is always the same color at the at the test here at the shell, at the last whirl. You can see that on all the these shells. And sometimes, Conus Ducus can have different colors. So usually you can find, I mean, it's much rarer, some with a more yellow color. So you can see the difference on the video. It's really a big difference. So this is much rarer shells. They are very difficult to find. So this is the first variation. And then you can have another variation for this species. It's the white to pinkish, pinkish variation. So here is it, here it is, sorry. And the biggest one. So you can see that it's particularly clear. This is really whitish. I hope we, you can see that on the video. It's my first try, so I'm trying not to show the shells too close from the camera. I have two bands on this one. So you can see with the classic orange one and the clear one. They're quite different. Let me show you several more specimens so you can have an overall, overall view of that species. Even if they have the same color, you can see some have a white band right in the middle and on some it's, it's just like they had no, no band, you know? You can see it, but it's, I mean, it's very clear. So you have all kind of size, of kind of size of, of uh, conus docus from bigger one like that, like this. And you can have teeny ones, like it was in cones, with different color. This is uh, more like, uh, like I say, uh, darker orange. So now we're gonna move to a close, very close species, which is Conus norai. I never found any live specimen of Conus norai when I was living there, though I did not, I did not dive enough. 
I understood much, I mean, much later, I mean, well, too late, that in Martinique you have to scuba if you want to find really interesting species. So I found them uh, while diving, but these are dead specimens. So we're going to talk about them. Some were given to me by a friend. Sorry for the second camera. So my f kind of favorite it's this color. You can see the spire it's a little different from the the Connors docus. And usually it's it's not the the color of the shell. Usually it's white and brown. And it's these shells are, are very rare to very hard and rare. So this is the like the purple variation of Connus norai. I'm sure you'll love this shell too. This one this one was given to me by a friend. It's still the same spire color. This is not pretty easy. This could be stored, I mean, classified, may, might be in both species. Could be in intergrade. This is the pinkish one. This one also could, could be a conus docus, I'm not sure. Even if you are specialized in cone shells, you're not always sure of everything. So this this one is a, a true one. This is Conus Norai. This is the, the yellow variation. You have so many variations. You should you should visit my website and go to the iconography of Mardining and Guadeloupe seashell I've made with Janine Jack and you will see a bunch of variation. So we're gonna stay in the same genus and now we're gonna show you Conus Bui, which is close to this shells too. Conus Nora is now I mean, it was found usually deeper than Conus Docus, but I've heard about some collectors who has found them in less than 15 meters. So this could be no real. Conus Bui is also found since the the first meters of water, but usually it's found it's more I mean more common in uh, 30 meters of water. This is my own experience. So this uh, this shell was um, was uh, named by Alan Cohn recently as a docus. I personally think it's a different species. I've sent before DNA where I was living in Martinique to Thomas Judah, but he's he's lost the 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 VRs, and so no no study was made on DNA. This is really a shame. I took my time to do that, you know, and I I sent one of. Uh, 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 I say orange color and one uh, one, spe one specimen of the yellow color. So we could have both kind of DNA. Anyway, so all the um, all the specimen I've seen, in, I mean I've seen a lot of in, even in collection of other collectors. All these uh, conus buoy, which is a really awesome species have the same size. You, you can look at them, 
they all have the same size. You will never find a huge specimen. You can see more there. This is conus bui. All are conus bui. And they have a really, uh, I mean, uh, original pattern. And they quite all have same pattern. So this is a really wonderful species. I mean, this is the the yellow one, yellow varchen. This is the a beached one. I mean, a dead one. This is the I just you can see the spire there, just like the nori. This is the orange variation. So like the nori, just what I told you before, the spire is white and and uh, and brown um, orange. It's the same if you if I pick up. Uh, this is the yellow variation. You can see exactly the same. These are really nice tiny shells. This is an uh, orange variation too. I mean, yellow variation. These are very difficult to find. So, we have seen these buoy specimens. I'm sorry, this is a long video. It takes time to pick it up shells and to put them back in the display box. So I don't want to break any of them. I didn't show you maybe this one. It was it was my bigger specimen. This is a, a huge specimen of conus buoy. So you can now have an idea of the size you can find in Martinique. So I had the chance to find two specimens of the recently 2016 by Moni and Limpire uh, of the new described species. Uh, this is Connor Jacques Colombe, name in um, the name of Jacques Collomb, that's a French collector. And, uh, and you can see before we we have, um, I mean, we, we, on our study, we just said it's affinity with uh, Riozzi. You know, before it was called Conus Riozzi in Martinique. So now it's uh, a new species. You can see the spire. It's quite different with the other ones, but it's still white and or orange brown. This one, I, I, I found this one while I was scuba. You can see it's an empty shell. It was all encrusted with corals and I took my time to clean it. I thought it was a giant conus buoy when I saw the at the first time because I couldn't see this part of the shell. I just I could just see this small part. And uh, I had the good pleasure that to find at the time conus rayos it is now conus jack Colombi. It's this one is really nice specimen. I found it deep I mean, it was like 37 or near uh, 35, 35, less than 40 meters. This is another one, but I mean, this is the same species, but this is a past. This is an old specimen. This was found in 30, 33 meters of water. So I guess this is a, a species that you will not find in 10 meters or less of water. It's not a shallow water species. So I'm sorry I have only two of this specimen, but um, maybe you you know, a, that's a book. I'm gonna show you the book. So when I was living in Martinique, I used to, 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 uh, I say, to have this, this handbook. This is Coquillage, the 
the guide that guide the two shells from the Antilles, from this essentially Marinique and Guadeloupe, from uh, Pointier and Lamy, they just made a new one. And you can see on that book that uh, there are quite a bunch. I hope you can see them on the, the camera. If you don't have the book, this is all the new the new species of Conus Jacques Colombi. Let me show you the top ones, the huge ones. It says uh, from 40 to 55 millimeter rare. This is Collection Berger. I don't know this collector, but those are really nice specimens. And I have another book. This is Coquillage des Antilles. It's an old book. And on that book, you can see also a few specimens there. And at the time, they could not name it correctly, but you can find the Jack Columby here. And you can see the Connors we just seen before, the Connors um, Norai. So, those are pretty nice specimen of Norai. You can see them, I think, on the camera pretty well. Maybe I can show you the Norai from the other book too. There was not, no. In the other book there was no Norai, so you just can't see them on this page. So, let's go back to the seashells. Uh, in this box, there's some interesting species that's a recent, recently named. Before, it was uh, related to the Conus uh, Buriae, but it's now a species that is endemic to Martinique. I found them all are dead specimen. I didn't have the chance to find live ones. I can say I, I didn't look at them really. I mean, I did not search for live specimen, just just made a few small cling on that part of Martinique. And my, in the book I, I shown you just before, um, they just, uh, uh, they just said it was the the Conus uh, Buriae. You can see that on the picture. You can see them. It's written here, Conus Buriae. It's 23 to 25. So now it's Conus Colombi, recently described. You see, this is the broken shell, but okay, you can see the pattern. It's kind of brown. They all have the same color. Some can be like pink. I've seen some pink, but all the ones I found personally were brown. Sorry for the cotton. This is the mineral oil <laughs> that does that. This is a teeny cone. So usually they, they are less than 30 millimeter. So this is the recently described Jack Conus Colombi. I say it's endemic to Martinique, I mean, until we find it in uh, another location in another area. So now we can talk about a classic a classic seashell that is only not it's not endemic from Martinique, it's Conus Mindanus. 
it's a pretty nice species. It's usually fine found in the in the sand. It's a sand dweller. It can be pink, it can be orange, it can be yellow. I mean, like often in the Caribbean, the shells may vary a lot in color and pattern, and it's quite cool for collection. I know that some divers have found a lot, a lot. I didn't find that many, you know, I just found three. So I might not have the tip to find them. I must say I didn't snorkel and didn't dive a lot in the in the Martinique. Not enough. In the Martinique you can find also, but it's very rare locally, granulatus. I found this one in the North Martinique. It's an empty shell, but it's quite nice. It was found in shallow water and this one was found in the south by a diver and he found one like that and one really huge one and the huge one was in the collection of a friend. He found this both ones empty fresh dead specimen and we can say he had a lot of chance that they he found the both one in the same place, maybe killed by octopus or I don't know. So this is Conus granulatus. It's not endemic, of course, to Martinique. I have a, also there's a tiny shell there. You can see the Conus. Uh, um, Puncticulatus there is difficult because there's very small spe specimens. The conus puncticulatus there. So I didn't, I didn't found, I mean, several, many because I didn't look at this small seashell at the time, but it's interesting species. And you can see uh, the columba variation with not not at all um uh, like no pattern it's the same here it's difficult to to show you the small seashells i don't think the camera will properly deliver the the right color anyway it's kind of uh not pinkish i mean and uh, this is this was called before uh, Conus Puzio in the book I've shown. We're gonna we just seen it was Conus Puzio. Uh, I mean it's now Puzio, but before it was called Puzillus. And so the last one. This is Conus attenuatus. That is found in all that area. It's not endemic to to Mordenic. So this one, this one, and this one were found dead, and it's uh, all the same species, Conus attenuatus. Specimens of uh, Conus mus. The pattern is really constant. I mean, there's not a lot of variation with this uh, this species usually shells are not that big you can see different different kind this one's very unusual color has never it's not a in martinique it's not a common species this uh, is a quite big one it's the only one I found of that size in shallow water, like three to four meter in the south. This one's quite nice too. You can see the spire. It's not a common shell. You find them 
in the rocks, in the in the fissure, in the crevasses. So there was another species I didn't you didn't see in the other box. This is Purius. Honestly, I never found any live nor dead specimen. This one was given to me by a friend. He could have disappeared or maybe it has moved. I mean, I've never seen them, but I didn't snorkel enough on grass fields and on the sand. Conus Arminius also, it's, uh, it was common by the past, but uh, now, I mean, at the time I was snorkeling and diving there, I didn't see any uh, live one. This is a, an empty specimen we found in the north with my friend Fabien Goutal, where we were looking for the Surinamensis Corey, and he got one. This is a small one I found in the south. It's empty specimen, so I don't know. Some divers said one uh, one year there was thousands of empty shells, empty specimens um, on the on the ground. I mean, where there was scuba, so they could have been like a huge disease for all these all these uh, all this all this species. I mean. It could have like a virus, I don't know, or pollution. So I never found any of them. So we're gonna talk about Conus regis, one of my favorite species now. Conus regis is common, but it's not that easy to find if you have no idea of its habitat. The habitat is close to the shore you can find them even while diving, but usually the specimen can be easily found in two to six meters of water under or around the rocks. So let's start with the very dark variation. This is a, a great variation, you know? It's mainly brown. Personally, it's one of my favorite variation of this species. They are really, really dark. Here we are. I think it's enough. I have no room on the camera. You can have uh, both sides. This one's started, you know, on this last word of all brown, and then it's more <laughs> clear. It's common in uh, for this species to have different color variation of the same shell. I mean, we say often half normal, half citrus. This depends of the fireworm they are feeding on because the fireworms have a lot of different colors. So this was the the first variation for conus regis. You can find also a clearer specimen. We're gonna I'm gonna show you now clear specimen of conus regis. They are very different. Of course they all found in the same uh, in the same area. There are no I mean usually there are no special area for a special population. They are found together. But I must say in the north I usually found uh, only uh, citrinus specimen so maybe the, the worms were different so you can see that some specimens are mostly clear to pinkish I have a, a real pinkish one this color the pink color it's the the one that disappeared 
disappear really fast I mean I have maybe another one there you can see some of this purple pink car I'm sorry the video is long but I'm sure you I'm showing you a lot of seashells you can see that this dark one with a pinkish and that's like 20 years I'm having this in collection so it's good to see that the cars can stay even this this car so now we have seen uh, the clear and the dark ones we're gonna talk about the citrinous ones a lot of collect a lot of collectors love citrinous shells uh, let me show you several kind of specimens Some have an overall color, some have different colors, some have half. There's a lot to show you now. So this is a kind of classic variation. It's orange and, and yellow. The spire is always white and brown. This is the big orange specimen. This is a big one, the fat one. And when we found this one, it was really different. It's like red. <laughs> incredible. In incredible. Incroyable. This one has lines, but it's still citrinous. This one is a uh, half orange, half clear. This, in this is uh, an interesting specimen. After we have uh, like uh, half here, it's like purple pink and half of the shell is uh, more citrinous. This is a, a real nice specimen. This is quite incredible. I love the ones I'm gonna show you. This is another variation for Conus regis. I have several specimens. You can see there's this is a, a real fantastic variation. You have all the lines there. It's really, really a nice specimen. This is the same variation. Those are really awesome shells. You can look, the pattern is incredible. And on this one, you have the other size. It's quite classic. It's wonderful specimens. Connus regis, it's it's usually I mean it's it's common, it's but this is an awesome species in Martinique. You have many, many all the shells are different. This one is uh it was found dead and I just let the the shell like it was. You can I can show you another orange one. This is truly perfect shell. It's real jewels. Another interesting specimen. It's really orange and and this is like blue. It kept its color. So it's really, really a nice specimen. Incredible. I have some with Perius trichum also. This one is uh, um, like yellow to bluish 
under you can maybe see that I've kept the Paris trichome on a few seashells like on, on this one too here another citrinus you can see the Paris trichome there it lost its Paris trichome there but it's still there in the crusted you find them like that, you know, you have to get rid of the encrusted corals and algaes. So many variations, so many different shells. This one was found empty. It took, it was, I, I couldn't see the pattern. It took me like hours to clean it, but it's a really, really nice specimen from the south. You can find all the all this all the specimen on all the coast of Martinique. I think I'm have I have sh you have seen most of the variation you can you can see on, in Martinique. This is a yellow to classic variation. That is big one too. So I'm sure you enjoy this video this is, was a new kind of uh, video so i could take my time to show you specimen one by one so it's i'm i mean it's long maybe it's uh, it's really uh, frustrating for you to hear my horrible accent if uh, english would be my mother language i could talk about much much more much more things and uh, and stories but uh, i cannot so I hope you enjoyed this video please subscribe to our channel it's the only way you can support our work because this is a real work this is a lot of time you have to make the video and then you have to go on the computer to to realize the film to realize the film so please subscribe give us a like and have a good weekend see you next on WWS channel